In this video, I'll talk about the force required to move the two objects together. So let me come to the point. Here we have one mass and here another mass. This is the 15 kilogram mass and that's the five kilogram mass. And th these two masses are connected together and we are applying a force of 50 Newton to the 15 kilogram mass so now the question is what is the magnitude of the force that this 15 kilogram mass applies to the 5 kilogram mass or how much force is acting onto the 5 kilogram mass once we apply a 50 newton force here onto the 15 kilogram mass how much force is acting onto the 5 kilogram mass that's the question so so here we just given the all the given values the total force applied is 50 newton the mass of the first object is 15 kilogram and the mass of the second is 5 kilogram so when the two masses are connected together and when you apply a force both the masses move together with the same acceleration so the acceleration is same for this uh, the two masses so let's find out first the acceleration of the system or the two masses together. We know the Newton second law of motion. The force is equal to mass times acceleration. So acceleration would be simply equal to the force divided by the mass. What is the force here? The force is the 50. And here the mass um, taking into consideration or the total mass so the total mass is 15 plus 5 and if we simplify you'll get the acceleration to be 2.5 so this acceleration is for both masses the, both masses move exactly with the same acceleration but now the different forces acting act onto the different masses or the force required to move each mass will be the different with the same acceleration so let's find out how much force is required to move the 5 kilogram mass with the 2.5 meter per second square acceleration so here f12 f12 means the force acting onto the second object due to the first object or how much force the 15 kilogram is applying onto the 5 kilogram mass. So we know now that by Newton's second law of motion, the force is mass time acceleration, and the mass of the second object is 5, and the acceleration is 2.5. So we got 12.5 Newton. And also, in order to move the 15 kilogram mass, the force required is the mass time acceleration again. The mass is 15 times 2 and half, which is 37 and half Newton. And if I add these two together, 12.5 and 37.5, we'll get the 15 Newton force. So now let's now try to understand this one. What is happening? What is happening here? When you apply a force here, this force, distribute itself how much distribute itself in such a way that all the mass individual masses moves together so so 37.5 newton is required to move this mass and 12 and a half newton is required to move this mass you can also understand the, this in a different way as well so the force required to move this mass we already have calculated is two and a half newton now let's take a look at the all the forces that is acting onto this mass the one force is 50 newton that is pushing this mass and by newton's third law motion when the when this mass applies a force to mo move the second mass the second mass also applies a force onto the first mass in the opposite direction, that is F21. F21 means the force acting onto first object due to the second object. And these two forces are equal. 
so this has to be equal to 12 and a half newton now 50 minus 12 and a half is exactly equal to 37 and a half newton so this is how do you calculate the uh, the force acting onto one object by another object where the two objects are connected together again if you have any questions do not hesitate to write down your questions in the comment section below and at the end do not forget to like share and subscribe the channel thank you